University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. The first round of this year's competition ends tonight. Thirteen teams have secured their places in round two. Tonight's winners will join them. 135, meanwhile, is the losing score required to qualify for the first round repechage. In tonight's match, one institution is making its University Challenge debut, while the other is appearing for the first time since 1994. Both will be looking for their first ever win. The roots of Robert Gordon University lie in a hospital founded by Mr Gordon in 1729 for the maintenance, aliment, entertainment and education of children living in poverty. This later merged with the Aberdeen Mechanics Institute and focus gradually shifted to the provision of higher rather than secondary education. Alumni include the architect and broadcaster Maxwell Hutchinson, the swimmer Hannah Miley and the marine biologist Alan Jemison representing around 17,000 students and with an average age of 31, let's meet the Robert Gordon team. Hello, I'm Samuel Fregene. I'm from Nigeria. I'm studying MSc Analytical Science in Haojiu, Aberdeen. Hi, I'm Donald Anderson. I'm from Aberdeen and I'm studying accounting and finance. This is their captain. Hi, my name is Emily Cullen. I'm originally from Clonroach, County Wexford in Ireland. And I'm studying for a master's in pharmacy. Hello, I'm Faye Cook. I'm originally from Stockport and I'm studying for a diploma in professional legal practice. Now, the University of Roehampton emerged from a union of four colleges, all founded in the 19th century as teacher training colleges for women. The oldest of the four, Whitelands College, has a strong claim to be the first UK college of higher education to admit women in 1841. Like Robert Gordon, Roehampton gained university status in 1992 and its graduates include the sailor Tracy Edwards, the author Darren Shan and the politician Lynn Brown, representing around 8,500 students for the first time and with an average age of 28. Let's meet the team from Roehampton. Hello, I'm Catherine Burdett. I'm initially from Zimbabwe and I'm studying biomedical science. Hello, I'm Jay Patel. I'm originally from Leicester and I'm studying for an undergraduate degree in anthropology. This is their captain. Hello, I'm Oren O'Donoghue. I'm from County Cork in Ireland and I'm studying for a PhD in queer theory and young adult fiction. And I'm Victoria Holt. I'm originally from Manchester and I'm a PhD student researching feminism and the social sciences. <laughs> OK, you all know the rules, no doubt. 10 points to start a question, 15 for bonuses, Fingers on the buzzers, here's your first starter for ten. Relating to time, what three-letter word links the first line of Shakespeare's Richard III with a 19th... Robert Gordon Cullen. No. Now it's correct. <laughs> you get the first set of bonuses there on astronomical symbols. A depiction of what is thought to be an ancient scythe or sickle is the symbol of which planet named after the Roman god of seed-sowing? Um, agriculture, is it? Um, so Saturn, I think. Yeah, Saturn's a good guess. Saturn? Saturn is correct. The symbol for Pluto is made up of the P and L in the former planet's name. These are also the initials of which astronomer who predicted its discovery? I need only the surname. Pluto? Um, so it'd be L. P and L, was it? Pluto? Yeah, it could be. Plutarch. Pardon? Plutarch. Oh, Plutarch. I thought it was just L. But... Yeah, Plutarch. Yeah. Uh, Plutarch? No, it's Lowell. Percival it's Lowell. Okay. And the symbol for Uranus combines the symbol of the sun, that is, a shield with a circle inside, with the spear from the symbol of what other planet? Um, would Neptune have a spear because of Poseidon? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's a good. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Neptune? No, it's Mars. Ten points for this. The fall of which city to the army of Mehmed II in 1453 is widely regarded as... Robert Gordon Anderson. Constantinople. Constantinople is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on members of the Gurd family of flowering plants. 
In each case, give the common name of the culinary fruit or vegetable from the description in Chinese and English. Citrullus lanatus, known in Chinese as shigua, meaning western gourd or squash. It is a large, succulent fruit, usually eaten raw. Could it be, like, no, I was thinking, like, cucumber. But, um, or melon. Melon? Or something like that. Yeah, I can go with that. Uh, melon? That's a watermelon. What delicately flavoured melon is known as Hamigua in Chinese after an oasis city on the Silk Road? The English name comes from a former papal residence near Rome. Um, Gallia? Oh, I'm just thinking of melons. <laughs> Was it Gallia? Gallia? Uh, Gallia? No, it's cantaloupe. Oh. And finally, the Chinese Nangua, meaning southern gourd, often a cultivar of cucurbita pepo. It is grown for human and livestock consumption, for decoration and for its edible greenish seeds. Pumpkin? No. Pumpkin? Pumpkin is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Meanings of what five-letter word include in engineering the distance between adjacent threads on a screw, in aviation an aircraft's motion up or down around a transverse axis, and in music theory, the degree to which a tone is high or low. Roehampton Holt. Pitch. Pitch is correct. <laughs> you get these bonuses on the electromagnetic spectrum. Operating at the same frequency as a kitchen microwave oven at 2.4 gigahertz, what wireless technology has a logo that's a ligature of two runes? Bluetooth. 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 I think Bluetooth. Bluetooth? Bluetooth is correct. The NASA Chandra Observatory observes what type of electromagnetic radiation? It's located in space because of the Earth's atmosphere, which absorbs the majority of these rays. Ultraviolet. 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 Yes. Yes. Think? Ultraviolet? No, it's X-rays. With a shorter wavelength than X-rays, what type of electromagnetic radiation is used to sterilise medical equipment? Gamma rays. Gamma definitely. Gamma rays? Gamma rays is correct. We're going to take a picture around now. If your picture starter, you will see a map of a railway line linking two cities. Ten points if you can name them both. Robert Gordon Anderson. Um, Shanghai and Beijing. Shanghai and Beijing is correct. <laughs> the picture starter was a map of the high-speed railway line linking Beijing and Shanghai, the busiest such line in China, which has the most miles of high-speed railway in the world. For your picture bonuses, Three more routes covered by this network. For five points, identify the unmarked terminus on the route shown firstly here. It's not. Macau, Hong Kong. Guangdong would be my get best guess, Guangdong. but I'm not sure. I'm not good on Chinese geography. Isn't Guangdong the province? Oh, what would the city be? Guang oh, Guangzhou, I think, is further inland, but okay. um, it could be Shenzhen. But that's just before Hong Kong, isn't it? Yeah. Sorry, maybe. Maybe just Hong Kong. Uh, Hong Kong? It is Hong Kong, <laughs> yes. Secondly... Where is Chongqing? Is that...? It's it inland, isn't it? It could be Chongqing, yeah. 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 Mm. Chongqing? Correct. <laughs> and finally... Is it something in Xinjiang? But I'm not sure of the city. I think it's in Xinjiang, but I don't know either. I can't remember. Is that Xi'an? That's that's further okay. in ten, I don't think. Do we have a guess though? Or? We could you never know the city could be. Just try Xi'an. Yeah, just try it. Right. Xi'an? Oh, it's a room chi. Ten points for this. Named after a French chemist, what reagents are prepared by dissolving dry magnesium in an absolutely dry ethereal solution of an alkyl bromide or iodide? Robert Gordon Cullen. Grignard? Grignards is correct. <laughs> so you get a set of bonuses on Shinto deities in video games. The sun goddess Amaterasu, in the form of a white wolf, is the player character in which video game first released in 2006? It is notable for a cel-shaded art style inspired by East Asian ink wash painting. I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's a game with, like... You play as a wolf, but I can't remember what the name of the game is. Wolf game. You've got the game, but it's Okami. 
The creator gods Isanagi and Izanami feature prominently in the fourth installment of which series, part of the Shin Megami Tensai media franchise? I need a single English word here which refers to a concept in Jungian psychology. Jungian Synchronicities. I can't think. Synchronicity? No, it's persona. Characters inspired by the weather gods Raijin and Fujin appear in the eighth game of which long-running series of role-playing games developed and published by Square Enix? That's Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy? Final Fantasy is correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> His works included the 2011 studio album Seeking Major Tom and noted for playing a lead role later taken on by Chris Pine, which Canadian-born actor became the oldest person in space in 2021 at the age of 90? Robert Gordon Anderson. William Shatner. William Shatner is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on the art patron, Sir George Beaumont, a leading figure behind the foundation of the National Gallery. In his 20s, Beaumont met two painters who were to be key influences on his view of art. These were the landscape artist... Richard Wilson, and which portrait painter born in Devon in 1723? 1723. Mm. So what kings would they name painting? Mm, actually. Mm. Gainsborough. <laughs> no, it's Sir Joshua Reynolds. Gainsborough was born slightly later. Beaumont donated a number of paintings to the National Gallery, including Hagar and the Angel and the Narcissus and Echo, by which 17th century French landscape artist? 17th century. Um... It's wrong. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, it's wrong. Watteau? Uh, by Claude. Beaumont tended to oppose developments that might threaten the standing of the old masters. This included the vivid colouring of which English artist born in London in 1775? Must be Turner. I guess Turner. Mm -hmm. Turner? Turner is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. We intend to sing the love of danger, the habit of energy and fearlessness. This is the opening of the manifesto of which artistic movement published in 1909 by the Italian poet Filippo Marinetti. It demanded a break with artistic traditions and... Roehampton Holt. Dada? No, I'm afraid you lose five points. Robert Gordon Cook. Futurism. Futurism is correct. These bonuses are on the film director, Jane Campion. Which film by Campion explores the relationship between the poet John Keats and Fanny Braun? It takes its name from the opening words of one of Keats's sonnets. Um, mellow Fruitfulness? No, it's Bright Star. Campion's second feature film, An Angel at My Table, was based on the three autobiographies by which New Zealand author... Her novels include Faces in the Water and the Carpathians. Mary Ellen. That's Janet Frame. In 1996, Campion directed an adaptation of which novel of 1880 with a screenplay by Laura Jones? Nicole Kidman plays the lead role of Isabel Archer. The Piano is the famous one from her movie? It could be then. Just trying. The piano? Well, it's Portrait of a Lady. Ten points for this. For your music starter, you're going to hear a hip-hop track. For ten points, please name the lead artist. Thinking of a master plan. This ain't nothing but sweat inside my hand. So I dig into my pocket, all my money spent. So I get deep up, still coming up with lint. So I start my mission, leave my residence. Robert Gordon Cook. Eric B. And... And Rakim. Rakim is correct, yes. <laughs> You heard there, Paid in Full. The Cold Cut remix of that song is an early example of a remix that was a commercial success in its own right. Your bonuses are three remixes that charted higher than the original track in either the US or the UK. Give the name of the lead artist or band each time, that is, not the remixer. First... Lana Del Rey? It is Lana Del Rey. Secondly... This is... What was that? What was that? No. Corner Shop. Original was Corner Shop, wasn't it? 
And then the remix is Fuck Boy Slim. No, I think, I think yes. Chrono Shop remix by Flat by Slim though, isn't it? Who is it? I think Flat by Slim. Okay. Sorry. I think, Sorry if it's I think go with Donald. We'd go with um, Norman Cook, Flat by Slim. No, it was Corner Shop. Oh, sorry. Which you had. Sorry. That yeah, was what we were looking for. Oh. Finally. I'm a savage. Had a two nasty. Cardi B? I would yes. Cardi B? No, it's Megan the Stallion. Ten points for this. What celestial body links Tiger, Gomrath, and Harsh Mistress in the titles of novels by Penelope Lively, Alan Garner, and Robert A. Heinlein? Robert Gordon Cook. Moon. Moon is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on a diplomatic conference. Begun in 1814, which international conference sought to establish a new balance of power in Europe following the Napoleonic Wars? Is this Vienna? Congress. 1814, that sounds right. Uh, Vienna? It is the Congress of Vienna. Which Austrian foreign minister presided over the Congress? The era of European diplomatic history that followed is often named after him. Oh, I've heard this. It's the age of M. I'm blanking on his name. I'm sorry. Come Mul on. Muller? No, it's Metternich. Which foreign secretary represented Britain at the Congress? He served in this office from 1812 to 1822. Foreign secretary. Isn't Fox or something like that? Fox or Canning or... I don't know. Maybe Canning's sure. a better guess. Yeah. Canning? No, it's Castlereagh. Ten points for this. Excluding hypothetical elements, which of the elements of the periodic table has the highest perfect square atomic number? It is named after a 20th century Italian American physicist. Robert Gordon Anderson. Fermium. Fermium is correct. <laughs> you get these set of bonuses on British birds. Along with the firecrest, which bird species is described as being the UK's smallest bird? Its scientific name is Regulus Regulus. Any bird? Small bird. Give me one small bird. A tit? A tit? No, it's the goldcrest. <laughs> the siskin is a small garden bird with lemon yellow plumage. To what family does it belong? Garden bird? Starling or something? Um, a yellow plumage. I don't know, a finch or can I, I'm totally finch. guessing. Or sparrow. Finch. It is a finch. And finally, a favourite winter food of bullfinches are the seeds or keys of the tree Fraxinus excelsior, commonly known by what name? Mm -hmm. uh, Rowan. Rowan tree? That's no, the common ash, or the European ash. Roehampton, still plenty of time to get going. See if you can get started with this. During a ten-year tenure, which poet laureate wrote eight royal poems marking events such as Prince Edward's wedding, the death of Princess Margaret, and the Queen's... Robert Gordon Anderson. Um, Andrew Motion. Andrew Motion is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on opera. In each case, name the opera that includes the following arias. In each case, the answer is a single word. Premiered in Milan in 1926, which opera includes the aria Nessun Dorma? Um, Turandot. Turandot. Turandot is correct. La Donna e Mobile is a somewhat cynical aria in which opera first performed in Venice in 1851? Oh. Would it be a Verdi? Um... Which Verdi was it, would it be? <laughs> I'm not sure. Do you have a name of it? Sorry, um... Uh, Madame uh, Butterfly? Come on. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, yeah, it could be Aida. No. Aida? No, it's not Aida, it's Rigoletto. Oh. Premiered in Paris in 1875, which opera includes the aria known as Havaniera, or Love is a Rebellious Bird? Is this Madame Butterfly? Sorry? Is this Madame Butterfly? Maybe. My first thought was Carmen, but it might not be. Okay. I, I would maybe go for Carmen. Um, Carmen? It is Bizet's Carmen. Well done. <laughs> right, we're going to take another picture around for you. A picture starter, you'll see a still from a biographical film. For ten points, name the person who's the subject of the film. Uh, Roehampton Holt. Caravaggio. Caravaggio is correct. 
You saw a picture starter from Derek Jarman's Caravaggio, and for your bonuses, you're going to see the title subjects of three more biographical films directed by Jarman. In each case, please name the figure depicted. Firstly, the title figure in the centre of this still. Who would I, that I, be? I Someone like... I have no idea. I don't know either. You've got to just... A fashion designer, famous... Um... Soon be Yves Saint Laurent? Like... Who do you think? Maybe. Yves Saint Laurent. No, it's Wittgenstein. <laughs> Secondly, the title figure on the left of this still... A German film. I can't think of any German films. I cannot believe it. Um... Who? I don't know. Nominate Holt. Bad luck. <laughs> Orlando? <laughs> no, it's Edward II. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, brutal. <laughs> oh, so it's going to be Saint Sebastian. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Saint Sebastian. Yeah. It is Saint Sebastian. Well done. <laughs> Ten points for this. Founded in 1911 as the Computing Tabulating Recording Company, which corporation became famous for its mainframe computers and later created the supercomputer Deep Blue, which in Robert Gordon Anderson, IBM. IBM is correct. Well done. <laughs> You can set the bonuses on 20th century history. In each case, name the US president who was in office during the entire tenure of the following British prime ministers. Firstly, for five points, Clement Attlee. So, 45 to so, Truman. So, Truman, yeah. Truman? Harry S. Truman is correct. Secondly, Sir Anthony Eden. So, that's 55 to 57, so Eisenhower. Eisenhower? Eisenhower is correct. And finally, Edward Heath. So that's 70, 74, so that's Nixon. Nixon. Richard Nixon is correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> Answer as soon as your name is called. To what percentage is the fraction 7 over 40 equivalent? Uh, Roehampton Burnett. 17.5. 17.5 is correct. <laughs> your bonuses are on winners of the EGOT. That is an Emmy, Grammy, Oscar and Tony Award. Name each person from their awards. Firstly, an Emmy for Jesus Christ Superstar Live in Concert, a Grammy for Get Lifted, an Oscar for Selma, and a Tony for Jitney. Oscar for Selma. Um... Tony. Tiffany, you got I know is um, what's it called? Berg, so that's mm. No. Oscar uh, for Selma. Um... Lloyd Webber. No. Oh, it could be yeah, the composer who yeah, was be... for. Oh, did John Legend <laughs> win an Oscar for Selma? I think. Yeah. John Legend. John Legend is correct. An Emmy for The Muppet Show, a Grammy for The Electric Company, an Oscar for West Side Story, and a Tony for The Ritz. Oscar for Oscar, sorry, Tony for The Ritz. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Oscar for West Side Story would have yeah. been. Um, who won Oscar for that? Sondheim, isn't it? Now? Um, Do you think Sondheim? It, uh, that's the only musical guy I know. Um, Stephen Sondheim. Yeah. Maybe, yep. Stephen Sondheim? That's Rita Moreno. Oh. And finally. An Emmy for Mad About You and a Grammy Oscar and Tony for the producers. Producers? I don't know. I don't know. Mel Brooks? Just go. I'm going to nominate you. Nominate Holt. Mel Brooks? Mel Brooks is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. In the names of their residences, what links Coleridge's Kubla Khan with Olsen Wells's Citizen Kane? <laughs> Robert Gordon Cullen. Xanadu. Xanadu is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses this time are on shorter words that may be made using the six letters in Wordle, the name of the online game. In each case, give each word from the description. Firstly, Capriolus Capriolus, a small deer native to the UK. Please, there'll be five letter. So I think contain W O R. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Mm. Come on. Um, no. Do. Mm -hmm. No, it's row. A headless pin or peg, secondly, or bolt used to fasten together two pieces of wood or stone by penetrating some distance into the substance of the connected pieces. Okay. Let's have it, please. Um, lead. That's a dowel. Finally, a general term for a mineral or rock that can be worked economically or to commercial advantage. Or. Or is lead. correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. The astronomers 
Fritz Wicke and Walter Bader popularised what term for a massive explosion in which most energy emerges in the form of neutrinos? The last... Roehampton O'Donoghue. Supernova. Supernova is correct. <laughs> Your bonus is on coastal geography. What four-letter term denotes a ridge of deposited sand or sediment that extends from the coast into the sea formed as a result of longshore drift? Could be a spit. But yeah, spit. Yeah. Yeah. Spit. Spit is correct. Taken from Italian, what term is used for a spit that connects the mainland to an offshore island? Is it? No, I don't think no. so. Um, I, don't think I, I need an answer. Uh, Jetty. It's Tombolo. And finally, what British island group is the location of the Tombolos of St Ninian's Isle and at Ness of Sound near Setter on the Isle of Yell? Scottish, I think. No, no idea. Shetlands. Maybe. The Shetlands. It is the Shetlands. <laughs> well done. <laughs> That was a yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ten points for this. Patented in Paris in 1846, what eponymous musical instrument combines woodwind and... Robert Gordon Anderson. The saxophone. The saxophone is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on literature. Named after an author born in 1819, the Keller Prize is a long-established literary award in which European country? No idea. Germany? Yeah. Germany? No, it's Switzerland. Gottfried Keller's autobiographical novel, Green Henry, is an example of a novel of education or coming of age novel. By what German term is this form known? Bildungsroman. Bildungsroman? Yeah. Bildungsroman? Correct. Keller's short story, A Village Romeo and Juliet, was adapted into an opera by which Bradford born composer? It was first performed in 1907. Bradford? Britain, Elgar, Williams... Come on, let's have it. Uh, Elgar? No, it's Delius. Ten points for this. Lying on the border between Peru to the west and Bolivia to the east, what lake is the world's highest... Ah. Being... Roehampton O'Donoghue. Titicaca. Titicaca is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on South American football clubs. Named after a leader of the Mapuche people, Colo Colo, was the first club from what country to win the Copa Libertadores? So the country, do we even know the... Mm, country what? A, a country with the, I can't the tribes. Anyone remember what the tribe was called? It was yes. Argentina. Mm. Argentina. No, it's Chile. Newell's Old Boys is a leading club in which South American country? It is named after a football pioneer born in Kent in 1853. What about... Hmm? Was it... What, 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 what country? Brazil? I don't know. Is it Old Boys? Boys? Come on, let's Old have it, Argentina. please. Argentina. Argentina is correct. And finally, CR Vasco da Gama is a club in which major city? Um, You've got to be um, quick. Rio de Janeiro. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> you get the final possible five points of the competition, but we're going to have to say goodbye to you, Roehampton. Robert Gordon, many congratulations to you. We shall look forward to seeing you in round two. I hope you can join us next time for the first of the highest scoring loser playoffs. But until then, it's goodbye from Roehampton University. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. It's goodbye from Robert Gordon University. Bye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. Bye.